It was at some point in the bleak midwinter. I was fully snowed in for days and days, and I was doing calisthenics of some sort to keep the blood flowing and to keep my young, lithe body finely tuned and active. Everything was going well, and I was lost in the moment until... Hmm, looks like the people at Huion sent me something. A fancy new pen, maybe. Let's check it out. Initially swaddled in bubble wrap, it arrived in a series of boxes that all seemed very nice, but a little big for a pen, maybe. Inside the box, at first glance, was a large, smooth, black surface. Maybe some sort of desktop desk or drawing surface. I didn't know, but I was determined to find the pen. And there it was, in a side pocket. Hmm, an interesting looking pen to be sure. I couldn't really get it to write anything right off the bat. It puzzled me. There were a couple of buttons on the side, a hole in the back top of it, and the tip seemed to actuate as well and I couldn't actually see where the ink would come out. Back in the box, I found two cables, one for the pen and one for what I later found out was a tablet and also some sort of misproportioned ashtray looking thing in which were held replacement tips for the pen and some sort of mysterious metal ring. Barely able to contain my excitement through the unboxing process, I finally removed the tablet and immediately began mashing the buttons with intensity, with no result. Under the tablet were hidden a couple of user manuals, which didn't interest me until much later, and a nice microfiber lint-free cloth for wiping down the device. With the usual thrill of new art supplies coursing through my veins, I grabbed a piece of paper and sat down to make some art. Nothing, nothing happened, though. I realized I must be doing something wrong, and shortly after consulting the manual, I realized that None of this worked anything like I imagined. And this was, in fact, a Huion WH-1409 graphics drawing tablet, which you gotta plug into your computer. I'm the type to read the manual as a last resort, so it did take me a little bit of fiddling around with things to get it working, but get it working, I did. For the most part, it was plug and play. I think when I plugged it in via USB, it automatically downloaded the drivers from the internet, stuff like that but I wasn't entirely aware that it did that. And so I, I went searching for how to install drivers and uh, the manual, which I did end up looking at a couple times, mentioned installing the drivers from a CD, which I couldn't find in the box anywhere. So I found them on the internet myself from their website, installed the drivers. I started messing around with Photoshop and uh, which I created, I ended up creating what you're watching now um, unfortunately, I recorded in 720p, um, so that might be a little bit blurry, but I also was kind of zoomed in and enjoying the pixeliness of it. That's another aspect. Anyways, there's always just, there's like a million different things to explore and figure out and get used to when it comes to uh, drawing digitally. Anyways, um, later when I was flipping through the manual, I also found out um, that this is a wireless tablet, and once it's um, plugged in and charged via USB, you know, for a few hours, you can unplug it, and it should, as it states in the manual, last for about 40 hours of uninterrupted um, performance or drawing, art making, via US, via wireless, wireless art making. What am I saying? Anyways, so I found a little, after much searching and consternation, I found a little USB dongle hidden behind a secret panel on the back of the tablet, and I plugged that into my computer, to enable wireless capability, and it turned out that that thing had all the drivers on it, so it was also like a USB stick doubling as a wireless thing, and it kind of blew my mind. Um, also, 
the the pen of course is completely wireless you can plug it in every now and then but apparently it lasts months according to some reviews i've la- i've read online so I don't, i'm not really worried about that this you know so this tablet does have a whole bunch of like buttons on the side which you can program with the little utility that comes with the drivers and you can adjust like the pressure sensitivity and um, it has all sorts of interesting features you can reprogram the little buttons on the sides of the on the side of the uh, the pen uh, I didn't really I did reprogram a couple I did reprogram the buttons on the side of the pen I didn't mess with the buttons on the side of the tablet too much uh, because I'm I'm already used to using keyboard shortcuts so I just kind of kept one hand my left hand up there on the keyboard kind of reached up and around and used my other hand to draw and I think what used to throw me off too much with the tablets I used to I did try a tablet once a long time ago, and I didn't like it, and I sold it almost immediately. This time I'm having a little bit more fun with it. What threw me off before was I was thinking about it as like a pen drawing, and it's weird drawing down on your desk and looking up at the monitor, of course, um, but I think what makes it more useful to me and makes it make more sense in my brain is um, now that I have tried drawing on Photoshop and I've been doing stuff on Photoshop a little bit more just using my mouse, uh, I approach it just as a much more natural and useful way to use a mouse. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I don't know. I'm having a good time with it, and I'm looking forward to uh, messing around with it a lot more and just seeing what I can get into. Not not by any means going to abandon my, my tra- quote-unquote traditional art making, but it's just another fun thing to mess around with, I suppose. And I guess you can't, can't ever run out of ink. As long as you don't run out of memory or electricity, there's there's always something you can run out of, I guess. Always. Anyways, I'll uh, see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and uh, I, I I love you. I do. Goodbye.